my VSI on. Now my patient is experiencing difficulty breathing. So I want to go ahead and get this tank working. So, got my regulator. I'm going to go ahead and set the tank up. So when you have a new oxygen tank, you want to bleed the tank. Now the air is going to come out of here, so take caution, make sure this isn't pointing towards anyone. And I have my plastic wrench, so you're just going to bleed it just a little bit. That's all you need to do. I have my regulator all set to go. My cap is already in there. And I'm going to take these two prongs and place them right into those two holes. So after that's on, nice and tight, I got my plastic wrench again, and I'm going to open it up all the way. And then I'm going to go back one round. Now as you can see, we are up to, let's say, 1500 PSI. So we have enough in here. Remember, you never want to let it go below 200 PSI. So we want to hook up the oxygen mask. What we're going to do is take the end of the tubing to the oxygen, put it on there nice and firm, and with a non-rebreather, I'm going to put it up to 15. You see we're at 15. And now, to fill up the mask, you're going to just push into here and the mask will start blowing up. And you'll go ahead and put it on the patient. So to put the mask on, I'm just going to go around the head. And obviously our patient doesn't like the mask. So the patient is not tolerating the mask. So what we want to do is turn it back off and put on the nasal cannula tubing. Works the same way, except for nasal cannula, you're only going to turn it to four to six. For right now, we'll put it on four. So now we have the nasal cannula hooked up at four liters per minute of oxygen. How we apply this? It goes right into the nose, around the ears, and we can tighten it right at the neck. And that's how we ply a nasal cannula. I feel better. Oh good! So she wants to go ahead and sign off, so we're going to go ahead and remove the nasal cannula. And discontinue oxygen therapy. So when you want to discontinue, We'll turn that off, unplug the oxygen tubing, take my plastic wrench, we'll go ahead and tighten it back up. Remember, righty tighty, and we know that we're going the correct way because it took us longer to go around. So now that the tank is closed, we want to go ahead and bleed the tank so that we know all the air is out of the regulator and set. And we can go ahead and take off the regulator. And that is oxygen therapy. thousand times not to leave the tanks upright. Someone should really take care of that. Why are we part of the fire department?
It's always Difficulty small. breathing, go! <laughs> Stop laughing at me! <laughs> <laughs> I got my BSI on. <laughs> you know, Sanitary or not? <laughs> Shenanigans. But don't lose your head, Chelsea. Don't lose your head. <laughs> You're still laughing. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. Today! <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> you can take it off. Once we have it running, <laughs> it actually goes this way. <laughs> it's just discontinue by taking off the nasal cannula. <laughs> That's the most awful feeling ever. <laughs> you realize we have to do it again now. Uh, no. I got my BSI on. Now this person is having difficulty breathing. So Step aside, guys. How's it going? There, hold oh. on. Uh, let the fire department handle this, we got it. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this is an axe. I've fallen and I can't get up. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? You need CPR! No! No! No, I'm good, I'm good! <laughs>